Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and in this tutorial you will learn how to make an abstract render in Blender in just 4 minutes. It's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Ok, so we're going to start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And then click Shift A and add a plane. Then click G, then Set to grab it on the Z axis. Then S to scale. And then go into the particle settings, add a new particle system. Then increase the number to 15k. And then increase the end to 250 for 250 frames. And the same for the lifetime, so 250 frames. And then scroll down and select objects and use the cube in the scene. And then increase the size. And then right click to select the cube and click G to grab it away. And then click play. And as you can see, we now have the basic animation. But I'm also going to add a force field. So I click Shift A. I go into force fields and then add the vortex and then in the physics settings of the force field you need to increase the strength to about the 7 and if we play the animation one more time you will see that uh, the animation gets a uh, tornado looking effect so what we did was to add particles and then use the force field to change the particle animation okay so click numpad 0 to see through the camera and I click Shift F to use the fly cam. And you can move around with W, A, S, and D. And then switch between gravity and no gravity by clicking Tab. So uh, I'm going to place the camera around here and then left click to confirm the position. Then I'm going to switch to GPU. If you don't have a GPU, that's okay, you can just use the CPU. And then I'm going to select the emitter object and change the material to transparent because we don't want to see the uh, plane. And then I'm going to select the lamp, so right click to select, and then turn it into a sun, increase the size to 1, and click use nodes, and increase the strength to about 7. Okay, and then I'm going to grab it, so click G to grab it, so around here, and uh, click numpad 0 to see through the camera, and shift set to see the rendered view. And then I'm going to... Uh, Change the background to completely white, and then select the cube, use nodes, and change the material to glass, and then let's open a new window, and I'm going to set up a very simple node setup, and I think even beginners will be able to do this because it's only two extra nodes, so uh, let's add the first one, click Shift A, and then write in hue, and add the hue saturation. And then click Shift A again and write in Object Info. OK, and then connect Random to a Value. And then Color to Color. Like this. And then you can select a color. And uh, each cube is going to have a different value of the uh, color. Obviously, it doesn't matter what color you choose. So uh, just choose whatever color you want. And... Um, we also need to increase the roughness. So I'm going to change the roughness from 0 to 0 0.075, which I found to be a good value for the roughness of the glass material. So something like this. OK, so the next and the last step of the tutorial is to go into the render settings and start preparing the render. So increase the resolution quality to 100%. Then go into sampling and increase the samples to around 500. And before I'm going to render, I'm just going to change the color one more time. So uh, I want to make it kind of more brownish or orangey. And then click render. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And I hope you liked it. If you want to take your Blender skills to the next level, you can also get the Great Tank Course made by me, which is available at Udemy.com. So thanks for watching and subscribe.